Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to RimWorld. Um, uh, I think everything sounded good, so let's hope it continues that way. So, um... God. I don't even know where to begin. What am I gonna do? I was hoping we could go to the caves quick, but... It's got some bugs in it, of course. I did not check the starting information to see if there were insects here, but there usually are... Uh, when there's caves on your starting map anyways. We got a bed there. An ancient bed. It might be crappy, but you can use it. I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel it coming on. Sneeze right into the microphone as soon as I start recording. So... Got some ruins over here. A bed, a table, a dresser. It's interesting. Hang on a second. So are there any more packaged survival mills scattered around? If you double click on an item, it'll select every single item like that that is in your field of view. That looks fun. Ancient Exostrider midsection. Okay. It contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. I have no idea what that is, but I can tell you that I do not like mechanoids. Uh, mechanoids and insects. I don't care for them. I find them both to be incredibly obnoxious. When it comes to accomplishing things. So, I don't really see anything incredibly useful around the map. Hey, that's kind of neat. A comms console that I can't use. 404 granite blocks. A bunch of logs. I'll take it. It'll save me a lot of time. Uh, I believe the reason I'm finding stuff like this is because of the Real Ruins mod. It, if I'm not mistaken, takes ruins from real people's forts and bases and uploads them. Look at that. Holy crap. A bunch of steel. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no to it. Why is that highlighting? Chocolate rabbit. Interesting. <laughs> it's Excuse me? It's laying an egg? A delicious, delicious chocolate rabbit with a hollow center. Where does it come from? How is it alive? And why is it so tasty? Um, I surely don't have anybody that's a, tamey, a tamer, do I? Let's see. Animal, animal, animal. I think it's under handle. Yeah. Emmy can probably do it. She's got a skill level of 12. So, go tame that. Um, got that. We'll start using these supplies here in a minute. As soon as I unpause it, start getting things done. I'm still just kind of looking around the area. It's hard to see this zoomed out, but... I think I can make it work. Uh, so... I'm trying to decide, do I want to start in these ruins or do I want to move down here? This is closer to where the building supplies are. Wooden walls. You know what? We're going to move down here. I'll sail this off. This will be my first little building. I need to do whatever I can to save... Uh, to save time. Because... I'm not very good at this game, if I'm being honest. And I fully expect all of us to be dead by the end of the first year. I normally play on easier difficulties. So let me go ahead and... Where's the claim? I want to claim all of this. Excuse me. I was going to say, can, can I not? Just click and drag. I'm used to playing Dwarf Fortress where I have to click... And then expand, and then click again to end placement. Okay, I want to claim that. I want to claim... All of the furniture. And I do need to find out what's in here, so... Uh, first things first, actually. Forget the chocolate bunny. Everybody come down here and land. Carrot, you are going to... Who's my best marksman? Hang on, I need to... I need to remember this... 
the best way to find information quickly. Carrot, you've got a skill of nine. Emmy has a skill of five. Slacks, five. Okay, so you need to equip the bolt action rifle. You need to equip the revolver, and you can get the piddly little plas knife, which should still be able to do a decent amount of damage. Um, let's see. I think we'll also. Oh wait, you've only got one melee. You've got no melee. You've got two melee. Okay. Um, you need the chest piece. You're going to be up close and personal stabbing people. So we'll protect your chest. Carrot, you might get sniped. So wear that. Emmy, you can get the pants. I'm going to claim all of my supplies. I've got... Ooh, I've got some tents. Wonderful. I did not expect to start with those. Um, I've got that. As soon as Emmy gets her pants on... Adaptive mode is active. Yeah. Okay. Don't go cleaning no rock rubble. No food. I guess I'd probably have to gather. I don't have any uh, plants or vegetables to feed the chocolate bunny is my guess. So you know what? We're going to draft you. I want you to go... Can I just, can I just claim this door? And then it's a human leather door. That's freaking creepy. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing in there. We started with the dog Kiko. Kaiko. Did not know I was gonna start with some animals. Okay, um the tents. I don't think it matters what way they face. It probably does. But I'm going to assume it doesn't, because I don't know any better. Place those like that. This will give us a quick little base to operate out of, maybe. Uh, repairing power conduit. I'm going to let them kind of just do what they want. No, wh where are you washing? Why Why does washing always fucking take my pawns past insects? Every single map that I start on... When my pawns have to go wash themselves, has water in a cave, past bugs. What is this? Ancient container? I don't think I've ever found anything in one of those. Which is highly unfortunate. Um, you know what? I'm going to try something here. I don't think there's any other water on my map, which is quite disappointing. Strong hate. I don't want you... I don't want any of you going anywhere over here, if I'm being honest, because you will die. You will get killed by the by the bugs. In fact, try to stay as far away from this area over here as you can. Looks like there's other nasty mean things down there too, possibly. What the frick is this? Gigantelope. Gigantelopes were once designed as bigger, more powerful variants of the muffalo. An ideal pack beast that carries more weight than their body mass would usually allow. While they are mammals, gigantelopes have pneumatized bones, meaning they have hollow spaces within them. Okay. Ba ba ba. Colonies around the room have been breeding them. Um, where are you? Slacks. Do not go wash. Nope. I have no other water on my map or they would have passed to that. So this, this is the hard part. Hardest part of the game, in my opinion, is the start. Trying to get everything set up before your dwarfs kill themselves. Or not dwarfs, but I'm going to call them dwarfs the whole damn time, probably. Before your colonists kill themselves. Um, let's go ahead and build... I don't care if it's out in the open. We're gonna put some bathtubs out there. A latrine. Make that granite. Can turn. Can turn this into a little outhouse easy enough. Primitive well. 
water must be hauled. Oh, yeah, we can put that right here. It's perfect. And I don't know. I don't know what some of these do. Ship, mythic, temperature. So I kind of want a campfire here just because I have tents. Let's do it. Damn. I have no usable materials. Mixed lumber. I had hoped that those were logs. Quit washing. You're not that dirty. Repairing power conduit. I want you... How are you missing granite blocks? It's okay. Slax is getting... So Slax is doing the toilet. Or the, the well. Slax is doing the toilet. Somebody is doing the toilet. Somebody's doing something with it. Or maybe it just said the granite blocks... Or inaccessible because Slaxer already had them tied up. I don't really know. Okay, I just don't know. I want you to fix. I want you to do that though. Oh yeah, Emmy, you're still heading over there, Schnikes. I'm getting impatient because I'm having to babysit my two colonists over here, so they don't go wash their butt in front of some bugs and get eaten. Your, your butt can wait. Emmy, why are you puking? Crypto sleep sickness. Okay. I'm going to say, there's no way you've got food poisoning yet. I'm watching you colonists. Two white dots on the map here. Where are you going? Okay. Get the tents set up. And monkey puzzle tree is the only thing inside here. Emmy, stand down. Actually, you know what? I need... I'm going to move this stuff over here for now as well. Put the bed there. Grab the furniture so I don't have to come back this way. Wooden table. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm not sure if this icon is a glitch or not. I've seen that red X show up in several places. Primarily on, uh, I want to say Psyker, Psychic abilities. I think it's actually, it's not, I don't think it's Psychic, it's Psyker. I don't really understand the magic system, which is just what I'm going to call it in this game. I have barely used it. Oh yeah, speaking of speaking of magic, I might as well mention that there are... Uh, I have the Star Wars mod installed, so there's going to be Jedi and Sith Lords and shit. And magic force powers. Um... No... Once I put it, yeah, just put it next to the bed for now. Who cares? Oh, shit. Okay. I was like, hang on, I only see carrot. I didn't see the other dot there on the radar. I was worried. Why do you even need to, to wash? Okay. Initial optimism. That won't last very long. Performance mod optimizer. Blah, blah, blah. Chubity, blah. I'm hoping that this colony will not last long enough to actually even need the performance optimizer. Ancient generator. We're all going to be wiped out very shortly. Okay, you... going to be for Emmy. You are for Carrot. I think they'll claim them on their own if I don't assign anything, but I don't want them claiming something else on the other side of the map. Like, did anybody claim this bed? No. I'm keeping my eye on this because it's worrying me. Any, it's flashing red, which I don't like. 
The remains of a massive ancient Exostrider war mechanoid. Long ago, some high-energy weapons shattered the body and fused the parts into an almost solid mass. In its guts, it looks like there is a still functional transponder. If you could extract the transponder, you could decrypt it to gather valuable information. Mech's incendiary weapon cells are intact but unstable and will likely detonate after you do some damage. So, good chance what that means is I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get lucky to get whatever's inside that. That's what that means. Because it's gonna blow up after I crack it open. The goodies are gonna spill out. Fire's gonna spread everywhere. Anything valuable is going to catch flames and have to be put out or quickly recovered. All in all, a big pain in the ass. Oh, hey, wow, there's three freaking bedrooms up here. I don't know how I didn't see that. Oh, hey, what are you? Creepy looking thing. Armagarsaurus! Wonderful. Relatively small, my ass, and with a short neck for a sauropod, Armagarsaurus has multiple pairs of spines along its neck. Each of the spines is coated in a keratinous sheath, like the horns of an ibex. While not the easiest animals to manage, their impressive appearance means they command a high price. Well, I don't know if we're going to be wrangling... freaking dinosaurs anytime soon. Okay, we got that going. Everybody, you can haul. You know what? I don't want you to do any of this. I'm watching you. You had better quit that. Okay. Slaxer, you can practice magic? What do you know about magic? Not much. Shirian, Spaceborn, Mooncast... This is for skill expertise. Once they hit level 20 in a skill, you can choose an expertise for them. So there's some really nice stuff on there. Baseliner, naturally evolved. I don't see anything that specifies magical ability, but I need to find out how to, uh, how to raise that. I've only had a magic user like twice in my colony. And the only thing I remember getting them to do was randomly start fires where I clicked and teleport. Which was not that useful, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. I need to... I need to finish this so I can make a stockpile inside and get all of my degradable resources under a roof. Otherwise, they're going to rot away in the sun and not do me a damn bit of good. Stockpile zone. I keep wanting to do the Dwarf Fortress method. Okay, you know what? That'll be fine. Make sure that we're not going to be throwing bodies in here. No rotten... Food is fine. I don't want any chunks in here. Rather not have any plants for now. No corpses. Better not have any nuclear waste. I might actually try out the nuclear uh, power mod in this colony. It's incredibly dangerous. But that just makes it more fun, right? I think we should be safe from them going over there. I need to get some walls up. Before I get distracted again, I've got so many different items. Five wood logs, five wood logs. I can use mixed lumber. Okay, put that there, put that there. Run that across, and bam. We have a fully encased building with doors. Get rid of that, and that, and I want some of this stuff hauled urgently. 
I cannot run out of food. I cannot have my components and my medical supplies degrade into nothingness. Things like silver, um, iron, steel, they don't degrade. So they can be picked up at my colonists' leisure. Let's see, we're probably going to need a little bit of entertainment down here. We'll put horseshoe pins out. I guess that's a good enough location. I should only need one source of entertainment for now, so I'm not going to build anymore. Where is... <laughs> a piss point. A standardized location for people to do their business. I forgot I had that. That's an additional optional mod somebody made for Dub's uh, hygiene mod. That way you don't have to have a toilet anywhere. You can just have them piss or shit somewhere, but it will cause issues. So it kind of has to has to be temporary. It's not for it's not for civilized society. Art cabinet. I don't need any of this stuff. Trying to see what's been added that I don't recognize. Like, we'll get to use this soon enough. The game will force one of my colonists to write a creepy cult book. Urine buildings. I don't know anything about the urine mod. <laughs> Your urine. I'm, I'm so immature. Uh, crafting spot. You know what? Let's put that. Put one of these up. It'll have a penalty because it's outdoors. Don't care. Put a butcher spot up just in case I have to murder something soon. Stoves, no. Teaching spot. I don't have anyone to teach. You don't have anyone who needs to learn. We're just in full-on survival mode. Used to create paintings. We're not making paintings yet. A woodworking table. A foot-powered woodworking table. That will probably be useful. Um, let's... I still got plenty of wood left over. Now I will plop that right there. It's only outdoors for now. It's temporary game. Quit reing at me. Got the stone cutters table. I don't think I need one of those yet, so I'm gonna wait. Let's see, factory, can't do anything with. That's long-term down the road research. Tons of furniture to fuck with. Get lost in. Everyone's already got a sleeping spot because we've got tents. So I don't have to worry about that yet. I see you wandering off down here. Where the frick are you going? Just curious. Colonists love to find ways to get themselves killed. I can't really afford to lose anyone yet. If it was another storyteller, the game might toss you a bone and send some colonists your way. Uh, Randy doesn't care. You lost someone? Too bad. You're not, you're not getting a replacement. Tables, braziers. My dog can sleep on the ground for now. Gloom lights. I don't need anything uh, for my quote religion end quote. At some point I'll have to get some type of shrine set up for them. Meditation pads. I think that if I put these down and assign them to someone they can use them and actually unlock their force powers. So that might be fun. I don't have any cloth though. Not yet. Kelp bed. Aquatic sleeping spot. Interesting. LTS. A notice board. A great invention to spread news of what is transpiring within your colony and elsewhere. Couriers love these. Let's test this out. This is a mod too. We'll make it out of granite. It can go... Right... What is going on? Uh, I'm... I'm 
I'm dumb. Forgot that I was following him. I was like, what is happening? Is something shaking the screen? Is there a mega beast coming through? Where the where's the freaking Jade Titan at? Uh, this is a mod. I don't remember exactly what it does. I don't think it was working last time I tried it. Various beds. Don't need them. I don't know why Slax is sleeping on top of his tent, but he is. It's probably more comfortable that way. Let's see. Genetics I've not messed with. Miho stuff. It's another race mod. They've got their own technology line. So I do need power. That is incredibly important. Um, you know what? Let's put... I'm going to do one windmill. No, let's do... For now, just one wind turbine. And I don't have solar yet. Portable wood fire generator. I don't want to mess with those. I think we'll just... I'll just stick with a wind turbine for now. Uh, let's see... I am using a mod that shrinks wind turbines to be the same width as solar panels. That way they line up better. It's kind of cheating. It makes it a little bit smaller and easier to manage, but I think it's worth it so I don't go crazy. Trying to get everything lined up properly. Let's see. We got, we'll have a bit of power soon. I don't have the ability to build battery and shit damn props i'm not gonna worry about these are simply for decorating your base once you've got things going security uh would probably actually be useful like if i built sandbags here i could force the enemies to come through here or come through here whenever they attack us i don't know how long we're gonna have Until we get jumped. Uh, I should have plenty of granite left still, so... Mm. It's not even, so I don't like it. I think that's better. So we'll move. Oh, you're still not even built? How about move you right there? Cancel you. Start getting a little bit of defense set up here. I'm not going to attack the bugs just yet. My primary hope is that some type of animal will come through, or maybe even NPCs and merchants. Some, some type of caravan and just obliterate the bugs once these bugs are gone or we can mount an assault and take them out without risking extreme casualties um, we're going to move into these, these caverns I'll start getting rooms designated this will probably be like a barracks I'll, it's kind of weird music sounds like a cell phone have like a kitchen a refrigeration room I've got plans the only the only tricky part is, of course, actually surviving long enough in this game to make those plans succeed. So, it is the 2nd of Abramay, the year 5,500. We're on some weird, crazy-ass planet. Uh, we barely have a functioning... Well, I don't even know what you would call it. a functioning bathroom right now. That's it. Don't have a... I guess we've got tents. We've got tents a little bit better than a mud puddle to wash our butts in and a couple blocks of wood with a hole dug in the ground around a corner of rocks to shit in that's all we've got <sighs> it's not much but we'll make the best of it whenever we come back we're going to continue on probably planning out some expansions this way uh, the next thing I need to get up once all this is done, I can forget bedrooms for now, but
but I'm going to need to get most likely some type of small farming system set up so I can start producing and growing food and I won't have to depend on hunting or foraging. Hunting is dangerous and foraging is incredibly unreliable. But I will see you all next time.